What is up, my degenerate brothers and sisters? This is Chad Stefan with Gershock, and you are watching yeah, I'm Local Best. Leila, I told you to take that shit. No, we are not using that tape. Turn it off right now. Turn Join by the one and only sweet blasphemy. Yeah, yeah. Fellas, how are we doing today? Oh, I bet I, I can't hear you. I'm sorry. Oh. We're good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. If you guys could do me a favor and uh, introduce yourself. I know you're in Los Angeles, but uh, are you guys originally from Los Angeles? And please plug and promote anything and everything. Um, so, hi, I'm I'm Davey. Uh, I live in Los Angeles. I'm actually from uh, Atlanta. Okay, cool. So that's cool. Um, Sebastian. Uh, I play guitar. Uh, oh, yeah, and I, I see. Yeah, I sing. I don't know. Oh. And uh, I've always lived in Los Angeles. Uh, I'm Jason. I'm also a guitar. And yeah, I pretty much grew up here as well. So so what this brought you from, from Atlanta to L.A., dude? Uh, to do the band thing. Did you already know yes, I mean, about, about them, or you just moved seeking a band in California? Uh, yeah, I mean, I basically, I, I just moved here, like, with my uh, my ex at the time. Uh, we both like we turned 20 and we like moved out here and uh, that's I pretty much met all these guys at that time like I had I had met no one like before moving here and then when I came out here I met all these guys oh that's perfect so you were you in previous projects in Atlanta also or or how did uh, not really uh, I basically already had the concept of like sweet blast me and what I wanted it to be um, I mean I had like I had like a high school inception of it, like whenever I was in school, but it was very much like, oh, let's just get together at our, at, you know, my basis house and we'll just jam for a little bit. Um, but it wasn't until like, like my senior year in high school, like during COVID, I, uh, there was like a EP that I put out underneath the Sweet Blast Me at the time. Um, it was terrible. You can't find it. Sorry. Um, it's horrible. It's been scrubbed. Much, like, it's been it scrubbed my- from the internet. Uh, as much as I hope it is, I've heard. I really hope it is, because it was just oh goodness. Yeah, I mean, it was a whole lot. We all got to start somewhere. I I totally get it. It's no big deal. But uh, so you moved out there with the band already, like the whole concept and the title. Then you find Sebastian. You you find you find the rest of the band, and then who are, who do you guys go to for for production for for all the singles? Um, Eric Emery. We got a shout about. He's so amazing. Yeah, Eric Emery. Um, he's he's here in Los Angeles, and he is he is he's amazing. Honestly, yeah. he's really. worked with like so many like awesome artists too, like um, Travis Parker. Um, worked with Blake. Do you have any inflection as well? It's like a bunch I don't of like think you're supposed to say that. Really? Yeah. Oh, I apologize. <laughs> Shit. If we can. <laughs> well, I mean, he worked really? with a lot of cool artists. <laughs> that's badass eric emery okay i don't think i'm familiar with him uh really quick if it'll actually look a little bit better if i know we're in the middle of doing this but if you take your camera and flip it this way it'll full screen you because right now i have like a vertical thing going on it, it, it didn't got. let us earlier okay now it does all right yeah. awesome yeah fantastic that, great. that looks even better that looks even better hell yeah so tell me about tell me about devil smile which is kind of the song we've been jamming a lot lately how, why was that written? Tell me about the lyrical content involved. And obviously you're working with Eric. Uh, how involved is he as an additional question? Does does he kind of take a demo and just like, oh, it'd be cool if we did this, this, this? Or does he just take it and schnazzy it up? Um, Eric very much. Okay, so like we had a song before, Devil Smile, that was called Hollow Eyes. Um, Devil Smile was basically just a rewrite of that song. But like ten times better, yeah. Because <laughs> like, like at the Eric, time, Eric, Eric it. Um, at the time, like we were we we weren't really working with any producer of any kinds. So, like we had a uh, we had a homie that did like uh, mixing and stuff like that. Um, but we were pretty much just writing everything on our own. Um, but so you did pre-production we, uh, with Eric too. 
as far yeah, as like yeah, pre-production and everything. Oh, okay, awesome. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Um, so he's like super involved in it too. Oh yeah, he, he very much is. So we took him uh, this song Hollow Wise, um, and he like you know basically like picked it apart, picked out the parts that he liked, picked out the parts that he didn't like, um, and then I mean it's like there's still a lot of di- like similarities between the two. But, like, I mean, I think to all of us, it sounds like a completely different song. Yeah. Um, just from working with uh, Eric, because he just, he's a genius in every sort of a freaking, ter- like, an actual musical genius. And it freaks me out how he could just generate harmonies and melodies out of his brain like he does. Like, it, it is the craziest shit. And then, like, also lyrically, he's really helped out a lot, like, at least on my part. He, uh, I feel like I kind of, like, dance around the... Uh, kind of beat around the bush a little bit with my lyrics beforehand but that since working with eric he's been definitely like dude just get to the fucking point <laughs> like, just, he's, he's able to pull it out of you a little bit yeah and he's like just say what just say what you want to say stop like dancing around it just say it <laughs> that is cool before so, before we uh before we jam uh i didn't mean to cut you off i'm sorry no you're good no worries <laughs> uh before we jam devil smile were you informed about the hot sauce the trivia part Yes, we were. I I got I got it actually right here. Excellent. Um, it's acid space. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Space? Yeah. Can you hold it's it up? Called, it's called acid. Yeah. Where's the camera? There it is. <laughs> Don't be weird. Oh man, that one looks like it's gonna be hot. Oh, so it's from the Ass Blaster yeah. like company and the Kick Ass Mule. I forget what the name of them are. Ass kicking. Uh, I, don't know. I, don't know. I, I, I guess just ass in space. Yeah, there's a there's a place here in LA that it's like a hot sauce store, and they just like have a bunch of like cool hot sauce flavors and stuff. At the Grove. That one yeah, sounded like a winner. I dig it. <laughs> ass in space. To do to do the yeah. trivia portion though, I need to know if you guys could pick a movie or a TV show. If you could pick one or the other, what movie or TV show have you seen so many times that I cannot stump you? American City, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely American City. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know that one like the back of my dick. Um, but also, I don't know. I feel like Lord of the Rings I'm pretty good with as well. I'm not. Too, I'll tell you what. Not, let's not let's do Devil Smile. I'll give you a second to talk about it in the background so you can pick one. Because remember, if, if I stump you, then you have to do the hot sauce. Either Whether you oh. get it right or wrong, I'm going to do hot sauce with you regardless. So. Okay. <laughs> What kind of hot sauce do you have? Think about it. I got a whole bunch. I don't know if you can see it, but... A blueberry one, a ghost pepper one. I got a whole bunch of different ones. I'll call them out to you if you stump me. Or if I can't stump you. Hanging out with Sweet Blasphemy. If you guys are feeling it, please show them some love. Hit the follow button. Support them. Fellas, were you able to come to a conclusion on the trivia uh, topic? I think, I think we're gonna have to go with the dirt. The dirt, or yeah, dirt like like like, Cruz. like Joe Dirt? I, no, 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 like Motley Crue is the dirt. Well, our first pick is like American stage, but we don't know if like, we have questions about that <laughs> or the, about the dirt. Dirt. <laughs> I feel like if I look up Motley Crue trivia, that might be easier. Oh, okay, I got it. Molly Crew the Dirt. I already found it. Okay, so give me give me a second on it. Um let's say let's say all of a sudden a label comes calling and uh they want you guys and it's it's the best deal you've ever you've ever read. Like every, you get to keep your masters, you get like crazy million dollar advance per band member. It's everything you ever wanted. It's, it's you're going to sign this. You can't buy studio gear, you can't buy a house, you can't take care of your family. I want you to be stingy. You got a little bit of money. What's a crazy ass toy that you've always wanted that you're buying? Can't be gear. 
a crazy ass toy. Like, like I don't know. There's a, a moped or just something crazy you've always wanted to ball out, and this is this is like it was too expensive as a kid. Flashlight. Uh, oh my god. Did you say? Um, did you say a flashlight? <laughs> I almost spit out my beard. <laughs> I almost spit out my beard, dude. I like choked on it. A flashlight. That's hilarious. <laughs> I kind of think a snowmobile would be cool to have. A what? A snowmobile would be cool to have. Oh, hell yeah. Just to have a display. Just a display. Be like, I got a snowmobile. Do you have a snowmobile? <laughs> I'm with that. <laughs> yeah, a like snowmobile would be badass. I'm with that. Yeah, right? Just like park it in your garage. And people are going to come by and be like, is that a fucking snowmobile? And you're like, yeah, hell yeah, it's a snowmobile. I feel like I would probably just buy a plane, not go front. Because it's, it's expensive to fly back to Atlanta as much as I want to. I don't, know, I don't know if you could buy a plane for a million, but you could probably yeah. like co-own one, maybe like a private plane with like a couple other people and you'd share it. I don't yeah, think you'd have any money left, dude, after that, but. What if I buy, I... <laughs> just buy the, buy the pilot? That could be the best idea of all. <laughs> yeah, buying buy the pilot. island right there. Fellas, what, what do you have lined up the, the rest of the rest of 2023 that we're allowed to talk about? Sometimes bands have like everything mapped out for the rest of the year, but it's, we're not allowed to know every detail. What are you allowed to tell me that we can look forward to? I mean, I guess we can say. Yeah. I mean, we got a new single coming out. Yeah. I guess this is our announcement. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't have a set date for it, but um, we're still getting it all ready. But we got the uh, final master back yeah. uh, a couple uh, weeks ago. It's like probably one of the best songs we've produced yet it's very much it's, it's very different from uh our other releases. like our other releases so we're pretty excited about it yeah hell yeah awesome but so before yeah, yeah. 2024 it will be out it's just the final details of plan, yeah, yeah planning yeah. stuff yeah. For, yeah. Sure. For, yeah. Sure. for sure probably like over the next like probably like two months yeah is there plans to do another ep or album or is it is it I mean, the move is kind of just go like single worthy right now. Is that yeah, the, is I, that the game plan? I, I think it's just gonna be singles, honestly. Yeah. Cause I, it's just easier to come up with singles and like roll the momentum with the singles rather than like a full like album or EP. Yeah. I totally agree. Like, we did the EP. We yeah. did the EP, and I mean, it was like it, it is what it is. You know, it was cool, but like. You know, there was one song that very much outshined the rest of them, and it was—it's very hard to promote three songs at once instead of just one. Yeah. So I think we're just gonna stick with like releasing singles for a good bit. But I mean, I'm sure there'll be like a few like remastered or rewritten tracks off that we've done before. There, there will be an EP eventually. And yeah, like eventually they'll all come together as like an EP type situation. I got gotcha. you. We look forward to it. This is the hardest question I've asked you all day. In the dirt, in the Motley House, you only get one answer. Who lived in the master bedroom? In the Motley House, if if we were if we lived in the Motley House, no, no, no. no in the movie yeah, The like, Dirt, in the Motley House, who lived in the master bedroom? It was Nikki's apartment, wasn't it? Yeah. Give me a hell yeah! That is hell correct. Yeah! That is correct. Fellas, do you want the ghost pepper, the red hot riplets, blueberry hell, mule sauce, or Johnny Harpoon? I don't even have that, but I have an I have the banana sauce. So in addition, I have to uh tr have you ever heard of banana sauce? Uh, no. Neither had I about three or four days ago, so I had to buy it. It was like two dollars for the bottle. And it doesn't look like bananas at all, but I have to consume. I don't have the oatmeal pie with me, but this makes it even weirder. Hot sauce and banana sauce. Uh, does any of these sound sound good? Because I wasn't able to stump you. Ghost pepper, wing sauce, Johnny Harpoon, mule sauce, blueberry hell, or red hot ripplets. Let's start. Let's start light. Blueberry hell yeah. sounds crazy. Okay, so. well, never mind. <laughs> blueberry. Blueberry hell. <laughs> blueberry hell. <laughs> Blueberry it hell. Like blueberries? It, it's made with blueberries, but it's 
it's um, it's hot, but it's like a chunky hot. Like there's you can taste the sediment. Yeah, it's got like pulpy. It's pulpiness. Like a, like a <laughs> pulpy. Like a blueberry it's, it's pulpy. Uh, have you have you guys ever thought about having like a big name feature on a on a single in the future? And if so, yeah, who? Um, if so, who? Uh, we also thought about the uh, the guy from Stain the Canvas. Yeah, uh, Brian. Shout out to Brian. He's a hobby. <laughs> Stay in the canvas. I, I feel like that sounds familiar, but is that another LA band or is that somebody? In... Yeah, no, Italian. They're from Italy. They're on Thriller Records. Uh, they're like one of my favorite. Bands. It's like an it's Italian bad omens, and it's like really cool. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. I mean, that sounds dope. Like, yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> some, would, some would say that the first bad omens album was pretty much old Bremen yeah. Horizon. <laughs> I would say that I saw them live at uh at this at Chain Reaction. Do you guys know Chain Reaction? Oh, yeah. Yeah. In, in in Anaheim, I saw Bad Omens there, yeah. and I don't even remember who they opened for, but they stole the show, and I was like, "This is the next Bring Me the Horizons." Exactly, I walked away thinking exactly that. Yeah. I love Omens. Yeah, they're Bowman. yeah Bowman. <laughs> They're badass. Um, what do you? Bowman. Sure. Do you guys play any video games? Uh, yeah. yeah. What's what's uh just rattle off like two or three best video games of all time? May not be what you're playing right now, but best video games of all time. Uh, best video games of all time for me: Portal Two and Shadow of the Colossus. Portal Two was pretty good. I never played the Portal games. Uh, mine personally, uh, top tier, uh, Skyrim. Oh, me too. All day, every day. Skyrim. Yeah. Okay. Hundreds and hundreds uh, of hours I pumped into it. Oh, yeah, easy. Beat that game like at least ten times. I really like The Witcher Three. Um, the other two were not it, but the third one was really good. And um, I'm like a really big Batman fan, so I'm gonna say the Arkham series, all of them. Oh yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Did you ever play uh, Elder Scrolls Online? Oh, just like a handful of times, but it wasn't for me. I'm. I, that's like that's why I missed it recently. I I'm more like the non-online ones, but uh, I did all the Fallout's, Skyrim, Oblivion. Um, those are kind of like my games, but I can't wait till I'm 60 years old. Elder Scrolls game comes out. <laughs> <laughs> I know for real. <laughs> it seems like it. It seems like it. Do you guys have any shows coming up that we can plug? Yeah, uh, yeah, of course. We got a uh, LA Rock Collective on the 23rd at um, it's a at uh, Lucky Strike, 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 yeah, yeah, in Hollywood. And then uh, we have a show in Southgate, California, uh, the 28th. Yeah, I think. So at the Hound Bar. At the Hound Bar. Yeah. Tell me, tell me your worst live gig experience as far as you being a musician. Like, oh, right. so everything went <laughs> wrong at this show. It happens to every band. All right. So uh, there's, I, I don't know if you've been to Molly Malone's in LA. Yeah. I think that was a really. No, no we're not talking about like. I'm not going to go at it. Like, because we've always had great on, like, you yeah, know, like from the crowd and everything, it's always been phenomenal. That's true. No complaints. No complaints at all. Um, but at Molly Malone's, um, yeah, I yeah. hope that this gets us banned from there so we never have to hear from them again. <laughs> um, we, we play a show. Uh, we get there. We get there early, you know, because we want to, you know, check out the other band, you know, be supportive of the music scene. We get there. We also want to like check out our shit. You know, yeah, like we wanted to like check out like you know where what's we, going on, where we set up merch, all that good shit. And we get there, and we're just chilling. You know, they're doing like sound check for one of the openers or whatever. Cool, cool beans. Sound guy comes up to us, like, hey, are you guys are you guys in a band? And we were like, yeah, we're just worrying about like you know where we set up merch. And, you know, we wanted to check out the other bands before we had to like go like get ready or whatever. Right. And he was like, oh, what time, you guys, what time do you guys play? And uh, I think we played at like 10 that night. It was like one of the last on my bill. Um, and he was like, oh, well, you guys, can you like leave? <laughs> can like... you like leave? And I was like, uh, sure, I guess. <laughs> if, they re if it really means that much to you, yeah, I guess. And he like kicked us out of the room. And he kicked us out of the room. And I'm like, <laughs> what the hell? And then it gets because of sound check or so just because they didn't want you there that early for some reason? I, I just think I they know. didn't want us there that early. For I, I think like the dude was just like some weird militant guy. Um, but then the band before us, they were like, they went like hella over. 
and they're like the yeah, sound guy like, like let them and they're like oh sorry we're we're used to being the last <laughs> we're used to being the last ones that play and i'm like well you're not tonight so what the hell um, and, like, yeah, the sound guys just chill with them but then like for us he just he also like totally just messed up our like sound he messed up our sounds and then also i like accidentally dropped the mic like when i was trying to put it on like the mic stand and he just cuts all of our sound and says, don't do that. And I'm like, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they're, like, Dude. <laughs> they weren't cool at all. I'm like, yeah. yeah. So that's why we have chosen never to play that venue ever again. Yeah. Actually, we told the like the entire like crowd just like pull shit down. <laughs> yeah, during the bosh. We're like, tear this shit. <laughs> but yeah. get us. I, I I get to, well, I don't know if we can get you guys so. to the to the high desert. It's a good hour and a half drive, but uh, maybe we can get you on something over around my stomping grounds near like Victorville area. We almost played a festival in the desert, but it got canceled. Whose festival was yeah. it? Uh, uh, the To Be a Hero Festival. Oh yeah, Enzo and uh, Zero to Hero. Yeah, yeah, yeah those are the homies. I know uh, I'm good friends with them, and uh, John Safari. Hell yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, it did get canceled. Yeah. That's a bummer. Um, yeah. We were like really. Yeah, those, those guys are cool. It's a bummer. I'll see if I can figure out something as, as far as what we're throwing in the near future. But uh, I want to try and stump you one more time. Although, I could really couldn't find like that good of trivia for the dirt, but I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. I, I'm pretty sure you're going to know it. What was the name of the guy who replaced Vince Neal? John Krabi. John Krabi. It's so easy. Come on. Give now. me a hell yeah. Give me a hell yeah. Damn it. <laughs> All right, so we had a couple left. Uh, Johnny Harpoon, Mule Sauce, Ghost Pepper, Wing Sauce, or Red Hot Ripplets? Okay, is this the last trivia question? That would be the last one, so I have to do Hot Sauce again because I couldn't, oh, I couldn't stop. Go, go for the hottest one. Ghost Pepper. <laughs> We're sorry. The All right. Ripplets kind of like... The Ghost Pepper one is was, not I'm, the hottest like, one, I'm but I'm going to go for it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'll do it with you. You're gonna do it with me? Hell yeah! Thanks for being a trooper. I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> Not me, dog. I'm good. Yeah. You sure? No. <laughs> nah, bro, we won. <laughs> yeah, bro, we won. I don't know. Cheers. One, two, three, go. Have you eaten this before, Jason? I have. It's gonna send him to space. Damn. Straight to space. space. Yeah. Speaking of that, have you guys ever thought about yeah. putting your music in space? <laughs> What's up? What? Have you ever thought about putting your music in space? Putting my music in space. I don't know. Is that the There's button? a company that sponsors us. They're called they're called banruption.com and they're going to be releasing a cube into space that somehow is playing music and it's free to sign up and your guys music could be on it. Yo, that'd be kind of lit. <laughs> That's hard, bro. That'd be kind of lit. <laughs> Holy shit. Banruption.com. It's worth checking out. It's it's completely free to sign up, so um this is uh we've reached the point unfortunately where we have to do a final thought. Is there is there anything that we need to know that maybe we didn't discuss regarding sweet blasphemy or anything in general you guys want to let us know? Um other than that, I'll I'll work on the sides getting you up here in the high desert on a show in, in the near future, but you guys were awesome, man. It was it was fun hanging. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Thank uh, you so right. much for having us. We man. have a shirt you can buy. He <laughs> wore it specifically for this interview. So that we can plug it. Anyways, it's it's in our link in bio on yeah. Instagram. Yeah. We are getting a new design pretty soon. And we are getting new designs and shit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so new single out sometime. Sometime in the next couple of months. Couple months. Uh, follow the Instagrams and the social medias and stuff. Yeah. At Sweet Blasphemy, at Sweet Blasphemy Official. Follow us on Spotify. And thanks so much for having us. Dude, it was an absolute right. pleasure. Thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate it. Devil Smile is fire, and we look forward to the next single. I'm imagining uh, Eric probably did that one as well. Yep. Yes. Hell yeah, awesome. Gentlemen, have a great day. I'm pissed off I couldn't stump you, but thanks for being a trooper and just trying the hot sauce <laughs> anyway. Uh, you've definitely yeah. seen uh, a lot of uh, the movie Dirt a couple of times at least. But uh, you guys are cool, man. <laughs> thanks, thanks for kicking. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you so much for having us. I'm going to throw this on YouTube tomorrow morning if that's okay with you. Yeah, yeah. Sure, go for it. Hell yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please support him. Go on Spotify, hit the follow button. Sweet yeah, blaster! Hell yeah! <laughs> Hi, what's up, sir? Welcome to the local band.
Smoke out.